Bom dia and welcome to a day in the life in Florianopolis, Brazil. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hi, my name is Summer Hobart and my wife and I are digital nomads who live in different parts of the world and we've had the great fortune of spending over seven months living here, our favorite part of Brazil, which is Florianopolis, Brazil. And a couple of quick things before we get to it. So number one, obviously Brazil is a huge country, one of the biggest countries in the world, both by population and land mass. So, you know, your typical day in the life is gonna be completely different, whether you're in Fortaleza or Salvador or Sao Paulo or Florianopolis or Porto Alegre or wherever. So we're gonna share with you our experience here in Florianopolis, which is an island located in the south of Brazil. And even here on this island, there's still a ton of diversity. And you're gonna see a little bit of that when we go to a couple of different neighborhoods, just to show you a little bit more of the area. And number two, we'll be including all the topics that we cover in the description section below. And of course, if you have any questions along the way, let us know in the comment section below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the day. We're in the Novo Campeche neighborhood of Florianopolis, which is one of our favorites. And we're here in our Airbnb, starting in the bedroom. So this is a one bedroom. Sorry, it's a little bit dark. This costs about 1,400 US dollars per month the utilities and everything included. Now, if you have any familiar with Brazil, that is a bit more on the pricey end. And the reason for that, here's the uh, little kind of living room, is because we're staying here right before Carnival. And literally last winter, kind of in the low season, we stayed over in that area where you can kind of see in the camera, in a two bedroom for 650 US dollars per month. So a big price difference just to kind of keep that in mind. Uh, it'll change depending on the neighborhood and the time of year. A little working area, the kitchen over there. And this Airbnb is about a five minute walk from the beach. So in a nice neighborhood, good location. Now let's start the day with some coffee. And one brand that we really like is this one here. It's a bit more common, you can find this throughout Brazil. Um, so not like the most premium and like the best coffee ever, but a really, really solid brand. And this coffee specifically is grown in the Brazilian state of Minas Gerais. And the states of Minas, as well as Sao Paulo, produce some really phenomenal coffee. And like I said, I've had multiple brands, multiple different occasions, and consistently has been very good. Smooth, rich, and turned me from someone who hated coffee to really liking coffee and drinking it almost every morning. So we're gonna go brew up a cup, get some energy that we need. Let's get to it. We are on our way to the grocery store now where I'm gonna show you a few different specific kind of unique Brazilian items and just the feel overall if they let me record. And in terms of logistics, we're in walking distance to a lot of places, bars, restaurants, grocery, barber, laundromat. And then when we're not in walking distance, what we'll do is we don't actually have a car, so we'll Uber because Uber here in Brazil compared to some other places we've been, is very inexpensive and we'll show you a little bit more about that later. And then for those few times that we're going, you know, for an extended period, maybe more inland, taking a vacation of some kind, then we'll rent a car. And we actually, for the end of this trip, we've already booked our car and paid in advance. And for perspective, for seven days, we're getting a rental car for 70 US dollars. So that's 10 US dollars per day for this rental car that we are um, getting. And it's a, you know, a good rental car and we've rented before now, let's go get some food. Something else unique here, specifically to the south of Brazil, is this type of tea called mate chimajão. So you might know about um, mate tea in Argentina, but then also this mate chimajão, that you see all the different varieties here, is very popular. It's very common to basically drink, you know, with a gourd on the beach. So all the time you'll see, not just Florianopolis, but especially in Rio Grande do Sul, even more south, people come to the beach with like a cooler, a gourd, the, the special kind of metal straw, and then the mate shibahao, uh, really, really good. We have all kinds of juice and kombucha, which I really like. And this right here is called vinaigrette. It's like this collection of like peppers, onions, um, some other like kind of little vegetables chopped up. 
very common to eat with different meals. Many grocery stores in Brazil actually have an entire bakery section. Um, sometimes they'll even have like some seating area. This one's just bakery, so all kinds of pastries and breads, all different kinds of fresh fruits. Oh, also passion fruit. It's uh, Ali's favorite um, juice is maracujá or passion fruit juice. Really good to help you sleep. Uh, one of my favorite things in Brazil as well, along with all the other fruits. So here in this grocery store, there's an entire section dedicated to Brazilian barbecue known as churrasco. So churrasco is popular in all of Brazil. So you have the kindling and charcoal down here, the grill right up here, the, the tray, some of the skewers over here, and then some of the other like fire starter, aluminum foil and all of that. Right next to the meat section in each region of Brazil does barbecue or churrasco a little bit differently. So different seasoning, maybe a little bit different meats. Up here is a specific type of garlic bread for, I think mostly for churrasco. Really freaking good. There's also pork, chicken, condensed milk. Oh my goodness. Used in so many different Brazilian desserts. Very, very, very common. Leaving now, ended up just buying this little tart here. But for the past couple of weeks, we've probably been this grocery store's number one customer because we bought a ton of food from here. In terms of the price for kind of food, in general, we found that it's fairly similar to the US. In other places, it's a little bit cheaper than here. But some items a little bit more expensive, some a little bit cheaper, but not a huge difference like uh, maybe some people might expect, but still really, really good. It is lunchtime, and today we're gonna to go to a very special part of the island, about 20 minutes away to the neighborhood of Ribeirão da Ilha. And what's really cool about this place is that it was actually the first place of the island that was colonized by the Portuguese. So obviously there's a lot of history here, and there's heavy Portuguese influence on the cuisine. So kind of this mix of local seafood mixed with the Azorian slash Portuguese influence, which turns out really, really well. So super excited for this, really hungry, and our Uber's almost here, so let's go. Just arrived for perspective this 20 minute uber ride was about 20 hay ice which comes to about three dollars and fifty cents in u.s dollar before tip of course we're going to leave a nice tip and a good review now it's time to explore here at the restaurant Rancho Soriano and we ordered some local seafood and specifically oysters with a couple of different flavors as well as some octopus all of which are sourced here from literally not far from the restaurant to drink Ali has some pineapple juice and I ordered a caipirinha which is a typical Brazilian cocktail made with cachaça which is sort of like rum and I will say that this meal is the most expensive meal in the past three months and the total for everything that we just described comes to 306 hay ice, which comes to about 57 US dollars, including tip. So a little more pricey, but totally worth it. So after not going to the dentist for about 18 months, we decided to get a quick teeth cleaning here in the actual city or downtown Florianopolis, about 25 minutes away from our Airbnb. And we went to our favorite dentist here that we've actually been to in the past. Yeah. We'll let you be the judge of the quality. The teeth cleaning and the maintenance prevention that we got was about 
was 350 reais, which comes to about $65 per person. Feel great and ready to get on with our day, so let's go. So the sun is setting, and one of the nice things here about Florianopolis is there are about 42 beaches all around the island. So no matter where you are, even in like the deep center, you're not too far away. And in our case here in this particular part of Nova Compeche, we're about a five minute walk, more or less, yeah. from the beach and from one of our favorite beaches, which is the Nova Compeche Beach, which we're super excited to try to get a little bit of water time before the sun sets. So come on, let's go. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. So Allie and I were walking along the trail and came across these two little baby owls over here. And if we look up over here in the distance, there's the mommy and daddy over there, and it looks like they burrow here in the area. And I think we accidentally got a little bit too close to the nest. Um, so I backed up a little bit and just kind of zoomed in with the camera. Look how beautiful, it's crazy. So yes, I know we already ate out for lunch and we're absolutely eating again for dinner. And we're here at a local poke place called Vibe Poke. We both got a large, I guess, poke bowl and the total came to about 110 reais, which is about, how much is uh, it? It's about $21. And then after this, Allie and I are just gonna go back home, relax, play a Mario Kart. Eat something sweet. Eat something sweet <laughs> as well, of course. We hope you guys loved the day today. We loved having you along with us. And we hope that we were able to show you this other and very special side of Brazil here in Florianopolis. Definitely something to, worth putting on your bucket list. Maybe if you're a digital nomad, consider living here. And if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below with any questions that you have. And be sure to check out our other videos here in Florianopolis. And as always, thank you so much for your support. Loved having you along this adventure and look forward to having you on many more. Until then, boa noite.